guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a tattoo tour so I did film one of these videos quite a few years ago maybe like two years ago I have got a few more tattoos since then I do obviously plan to get more as well so I will probably be filming another updated one in the future but somebody requested this video so I thought that I would fulfill their request and show you guys my tattoos and talk through them where I got them done why I got it Blah, blah, blah. Just a quick disclaimer, if you do not like tattoos, if you disagree with getting tattoos that don't have meaning or blah blah blah, please don't watch this video because I don't really care about anyone's opinion. I like tattoos, I wanted to get these tattoos, I like them and if you have nothing nice to say then don't say it at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that because I don't think people should have the right to comment on other people's bodies whether that's tattoos or anything else okay ran over let's just clear the air okay so i've obviously got on like a little kind of a top today just to show you guys the tattoos but i will also be doing little cutaways as well some of them are in hard places to show but i'll do my best um so yes i'm gonna i'm not really going in any particular order i'm just gonna go like a little across the body i think so i'm gonna start with my left arm and it actually does have my first tattoo on it so the first tattoo that i ever got was this one so this says all my love and it's in my dad's handwriting so my dad passed away in 2014 um i was 16 years old so when i was i think about 18 when i could get my first tattoo i did i got this one um and i basically had this copied from a card that he sent me um i think it was one of the last birthday cards that i received from him um and it just so happened that that all my love was like really clear at the bottom of the card and it just like I just looked at it and I just knew straight away that that's what I wanted to get tattooed on me um so yeah it's in my dad's handwriting it's really well done like it looks so similar to his handwriting I'll see if I can pop the original like picture of the card on the screen as well so you can see um but yeah I got this one it didn't take long I think it was about 40 pounds um I got it done at South Sea Tattoo Company in South Sea. Um, it was done by a guy called Greg Harp, but he has now moved to a different studio, but that is where he was. Um, and yeah, I don't feel like it hurt at all. Like in this little, it was obviously a bit scratchy, but for my first tattoo, I remember it being absolutely fine. Um, and I got it on my left arm because my dad was left-handed. So I was like, left, left. And also I got it because it's closer to my heart on that side. Um, and I don't know, it just felt right for it to be there. And what I do like about this placement is that kind of, when I put my arm down, you can't really see it. It's not the most noticeable tattoos, but you also do see it sometimes. Um, and I just quite like that sometimes it's quite private. I mean, people have seen it before and asked me about it. And obviously I'll say it's in my dad's handwriting, blah, blah. But um, yeah, it's just like a nice tattoo. And I love having it and just, he's just obviously is a massive part of my life so I just wanted that tattooed and I feel like it's really nice what it says and yeah I love it so much it is my favorite tattoo because it is it's got meaning and I just love it okay so next up on my arm I do have this little bra tattoo um here this one is a recent one so I did go to Sophie Floyd at Top Boy Tattoo in Hive to get this done and I got three others done as well at the same time as this one so I had four done in one go um and basically it doesn't mean anything <laughs> I saw on Pinterest a picture of a little bra and I sent it to Sophie and she came up with this one and I really love it I just think it's really cool I love any like fashioning pieces and I just think it's really nice the stars are obviously not filled in and I don't know I've been umming and ahhing about whether to get them filled in like solid black or solid red like, I don't really love coloured tattoos, all mine are just black, um, but this is the only one that I was just looking at it and I was like, could it be cute if the little stars were red? And I think it maybe could, but can you let me know in the comments what you think? Or maybe just plain black? But I just feel like they need to be filled in. Um, I don't know. I, when I got the tattoo done I was like well I won't fill them in and then if I want to I can always do it because you can't undo so I was like I'd rather not get them filled in and then not want to have them filled in but now that I like, look at it a lot I just think it could look quite cute with some little red ink on there but let me know what you guys think 
but yeah it's just cute I don't know I just love I just love it I just thought it was a cool tattoo to have and why not it's not that big it's in like quite a, I like the placement of it um so yeah love that one the back of my arm I have this sun tattoo and this to be honest i will say is one of my least favourite tattoos that I have. I don't hate it. I mean, I don't really see it on the back of my arm, so I can't really hate it. Um, but it just is a bit dark. I almost wish that her face... Let me stand up. I wish that her face was a bit bigger and then these, like, the sun fire thing was not as long. But to be honest, it is not a big deal like it is literally fine um so i got this tattoo done at the same time as another tattoo and i got this done at the kingship tattoo studio in selsey by a lady called lucy scovel or lucy scovel but yeah i do really like the tattoo i like her face i like that she's got she's got so much detailing on her face like eyebrows little mole lips um it's just that yeah i just feel like she's quite dark um but I don't know if maybe there's a way I can get like some white ink maybe tattooed onto it just to make it a little bit lighter. But yeah, I don't know. She's just quite dark. Um, but if I get some more on my arm, I feel like she won't look so like standy outy. Um, but I do really like her. Like I don't regret it. I definitely don't regret it because I do like her. I just feel like whenever you get a tattoo, sometimes there are changes that you might want to make. But I feel like that would happen regardless. It was a little bit more painful here, but not too bad. Okay, moving on to my right arm. I will start with the moon tattoo because I just showed you the sun. So this is the moon and I much prefer the moon. Obviously, she's a lot more discreet. Um, she's a crescent moon and she's in the shape of a sea, as a crescent moon is. Um, and obviously my name's Chloe, so yeah. And then she's just got little stars around it. And again, just so much detail in the face as well. Um, but yeah, I got this done at the same time as the sun. Sun and the moon, I just like the fact that they're on the back of my arms. Like you just see them and they just look cool. I just like them. Um, but yeah, really cute. Little Luna. And the tattoo is just done so well. And her face is just so cute. She's got little freckles. And I really like her. Um, when the original tattoo was drawn out, she did have... What are they called? I don't remember what they're called. But um, yeah, it did have them. And I got them removed because I just wanted it plain. I always advise, like, whenever you get a tattoo, just always kind of... Just always remember that you can add to a tattoo, but you can't take away. So if you want... If you don't feel like you want shading, then say you don't want shading because you can always add it on after. But just kind of always think, first of all, that things can't be removed. So I got the little, I think they're called like Maria's or something, um, removed from it because I just, it didn't quite look right. Um, so yeah, I can always get them added, but I'm actually quite happy with it how it is. Then next on this arm, I have a Prada bag <laughs> tattooed on my arm. Um... This Prada bag is just, it was quite an impulse decision that I wanted it. Um, so Sophie Floyd, she had a flash page where she did little bags and there was like a little Louis Vuitton bag, which I did really like and I might still get at some point somewhere else. Um, but then I just kind of wanted a Prada bag because the first designer bag that I ever bought with my own money, well, just in general, um, is a Prada bag. And I just kind of wanted that on my arm. It is definitely not everyone's cup of tea. Like, I, I know that, and that's fine. Um, I do really like it. I think it is super cute. There's quite a lot of shading on it, which I maybe perhaps, again, now would not have so much. But it's not a problem. I still like it. Um, and yeah, I just feel like she needs some friends on the arm just to make her not look so standy outy. I mean, we do have another tattoo down here, which we'll talk about in a sec. But yeah, she's just cute. Um, you can't really tell that it says Prada or anything like that, which I quite like. Obviously, I know it's a Prada bag, and you guys now know, but you can't see that it's Prada. So, like, I don't know. Just in case <laughs> Prada, like, a very controversial when something happens. I don't know. At least it's not got Prada written on my arm. It's, it can be anything, you know. Um, but, yeah, it is a really cute tattoo, and it's just fun. And that's the main, like, with the bra, it's just fun. So Sophie Floyd did that again at Top Boy Tattoo along with the bra and two others which I'll show. 
Next up on my arm, I have this little like star compass thing. Um, it is a star. It could be a compass, could get it written on there, but it is a star. Um, this one, <laughs> okay, this one. Um, so this one has been my most troublesome tattoo. If you watched the vlog at the time, you'd remember, maybe you would remember me saying about this tattoo, but basically me, my boyfriend, my boyfriend's sister and her boyfriend all went to a tattoo studio in Selsey. I'm not going to say the name of it. Um, to be honest, I can't even remember the name of it, but it is like a legit tattoo studio. Like it's all fine. But basically we went to a flash day, which they advertised on their Instagram. We all went, they had a page of flash tattoos and I was umming and ahhing with what to get, blah, blah. There was really cute, like cowboy hats, there was little strawberries, blah, blah, which I really liked. And I probably will get another day, not there, but somewhere else. Um, but I decided to go for this tattoo and it basically at first was just a plain star tattoo. I will try and insert a photo of it if I can find it. Um, so basically it was just that. So it was kind of like you just went in, you were just sat waiting for your tattoo art, for one of the tattoo artists to be free. I think there was four people tattooing, three or four people. Um, one of the people tattooing, he owned the shop. Um, and then the other two women, I think, or there might have been three, I can't remember, were just tattooing and that was fine. I didn't really think anything of it. Anything of it. I was just like, okay. Obviously, I wanted the guy who owned the tattoo studio um, because I'd known of his work before, but I didn't get him. So I had this woman who was free, like, gave her the tattoo. Obviously, she did everything. She did, like, did the tattoo, blah, 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 blah. All fine. Um, she put the second skin on it, which is like her... It's kind of like, instead of using clean film, it's just this like sticker, which you can just put over the tattoo. It means you've not got to walk around with big like clean film on you. Um, so I couldn't really see the tattoo properly because with the second skin, it is so tight to your skin that it kind of causes your skin to like wrinkle. Do you know what I mean? Like when it like, yeah, wrinkles underneath. So couldn't really see the tattoo anyway. Um, but I was obviously trying to look at it and I was like, oh, it kind of looks a bit wonky. Like some of the lines were like really jagged and like, it just looked a bit, shit not gonna lie so then we went back to my boyfriend's house everyone like you know was looking at their tattoos um my boyfriend's sister and her boyfriend got like a matching rose tattoo which is really cute really nicely done my boyfriend had his he got like a little cactus tattoo that was really nicely done and i kind of was looking at mine like mine doesn't look very nice so i peeled off the second skin um quite early but i thought i just want to look at it because it might not be wonky it might just be the like the thing making it wonky um so i peeled it off basically gave it a little wash just so i could really see it clearly and i was looking at the lines and they were so jagged like obviously they're meant to be like super sharp straight lines and i know i am not stupid like i know with tattoos like they're not always going to look how they would on paper like this is human skin like things happen and like the straight line potentially will not be a straight line which is fine I do feel like maybe they should start using rulers or something like do you know what I mean um like if we have to use a ruler to draw on a bit of paper then surely you should use a ruler on a tattoo I don't know how it works but i that anyway so I saw the lines and they were just I mean one of the lines was shorter than the other side obviously it's meant to be symmetrical one line was shorter than the other I feel like it potentially still is but that's a problem for another day um, and just the lines like along here were like jagged like that like just really wonky and like um, these little tiny lines were all different widths and it just was not good like it was not good and I was literally like this is not okay so I basically had a little cry because it's freaking it's freaking on my arm forever so I was like I'm gonna have a little cry but then I'm gonna be fine so I just kind of spoke to everyone about it and everyone was saying like it's not that bad like you're not going to see it unless you go up close but I know what you mean like it is wonky and the lines are not straight so I had a bit of a meltdown but it was fine I emailed the guy who owned the tattoo studio and it basically turned out that the woman who had done my tattoo was an apprentice so I felt 
very annoyed about that because in my personal opinion I was like well if you're gonna tattoo someone you should make it clear that you're an apprentice especially on a flash day like they should have made it clear that she was an apprentice and even maybe charged less but no we all had this we all paid the same amount I paid the same for the apprentice as my boyfriend did for the guy who owned the shop it was about 40 pound per tattoo um so I was kind of annoyed because I was like well first of all that should have been known and like maybe I was not the first person on that flash day to come away with a dodgy tattoo um so I felt like it should have been told to us that she was an apprentice and then we could have maybe chosen like if I had known she was an apprentice I wouldn't have gone to her I would have let someone else go to her and waited for the next person to be free I wasn't in a rush um so yeah anyway it turned out she's an apprentice so the owner of the company could not have been any nicer to me like he was so lovely he said I sent him photos he said I can see that it's wonky come into the studio on this day he like got me in like really early in the morning on a day and he just said I'll fix it for you free of charge blah blah blah, blah. he was really lovely about it and it was fine um but basically obviously to fix it he had to go over the line so they're a lot thicker and darker than they were originally um, and then there's like shading around the outside obviously you'll see the little clips closer up um so that you couldn't really see that the lines were wonky and don't get me wrong it's absolutely fine now like I think it's cute I like it I don't mind it at all um yeah it's fine he did a really good job of mending it um and sorting it out and I really do love like the placement of it and I really like the tattoo now um it's just a shame we have to go for a bit to get there um and then obviously on the day he was so apologetic even the girl who did my tattoo she apologized to me um and i i was as nice about it as i possibly could be i i, I said to her like it's fine you know these things happen like everyone's got to learn like it's fine um and he gave me like a little bag and it had a voucher in it for the tattoo studio and like just some free bits and bobs and it, they were really lovely about it and I couldn't fault them after that I just wish that they had said that she was an apprentice and then it could have all been a bit different and I could have had the tattoo that I originally wanted but it is fine it like I luckily enough like it wasn't my first tattoo it was like my 10th um so like I kind of was like it's fine like I'm not that bothered obviously where it was on my arm was it's gonna be on show like but he's managed to do a good job of it and fix it and a lot of people actually compliment the tattoo so it's fine now like we're all good um but basically the moral of the story is if you're gonna go to like a flash day maybe do your research into the artists um and you could even when you get there just ask like is everyone fully qualified is there an apprentice here just ask the questions and I know like it might be a bit embarrassing or a bit daunting to just ask the questions but at the end of the day you're paying for a service you're getting a tattoo which can't be removed um well it can but you know laser and all that but the whole point is that you don't want that um so just ask the question because you don't want to end up like me and have a botched one but it's all sorted now and she's fine it's cute um but yeah i just i don't know because obviously normally when you go and get a tattoo you research into the person who's tattooing you and you pick who you want that's what i do always research into people i always pay like a good amount of money so that i know it's going to be a good one um and just on this one occasion we went to this flash day and I kind of was like, I didn't really think about it. I didn't think that they would have an apprentice doing a flash tattoo without saying. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's all done now. But that is the story behind this star, which literally is so meaningless because it was a flash day tattoo and I picked it like kind of on the spot. Um, but that is not to say I would definitely do another flash day. I think they're a really good way to get a nice tattoo for a, like a good amount of money um and like it's fun when you go with like your friends but in the future just make like i would just ask if everyone is fully qualified um so yeah that's the story behind this one sorry that's probably made the video a lot longer than it needs to be but that is that one then we have more like they're all on my body now so i'm going to show you them in cutaways just so i don't flash anyone but next up we have a little trio of things between my boobs kind of like just below so we have three little stars and some dots and again absolutely meaningless just thought it was really really cute and looked good I got this done at 
I think it's called Golden Venom Tattoo Studio in Aldershot. Um, if that's wrong, all the information will be down below anyway for where I went, apart from the Dodge one. I'm not going to out them. Um, just in case, like I just don't think it's fair because they sorted it out and it was all fine. But I just don't want to put that out there. Um, so every other tattoo will be down there. Um, so it was a by a woman called Jay and yeah she did this little tattoo for me and it's just super cute I really like it um, one day I might get some stuff added to it just to make it a little bit more standy outy but I don't know I do really like the littleness but I feel like I might like add some things and go like up a little bit more into my cleavage area but I like it as it is anyway I just think it's nice and I love it in like little bikinis and stuff it just looks cute so then on the same day that I got that one, I also got this one on my side, which is a little heart tattoo with some flowers in it. And I just really liked this tattoo. I thought it was really cute. Um, and I do really like the tattoo still. I forget that it's there. But also I do wish I kind of got the placement slightly over because when I put my arms down, it like scrunches up onto my boob. So it kind of like makes it look... A bit distorted uh, to be honest like I said I kind of forget that it's there but it is a really cute little tattoo and if I do ever have like a bikini on and I put my arms up whatever you can see it and it's just a bit nice like I just think it's cute okay then on my back I have walking in the wind which is it's actually a One Direction song and I wanted to get this tattoo because growing up One Direction were my favorite band ever it was a big part of my teenage years um, from like 12 to like 17 I'd say they were a big part of my life I went to so many concerts had like the best times um, some of my favourite memories are like my dad driving me to my One Direction concerts and my dad like picking me up or like driving in the car we'd have One Direction on with like my brother like we I just they're just a massive part of my life and that might sound really crazy and cringe to other people that don't understand that obsession but I literally was obsessed like me and my friends would always talk about them, you know, I have my little 1D Twitter account, um, my whole bedroom wall here, this is quite a big wall, it was completely filled in One Direction posters, I like had signed copies of their CDs and everything like that, like I was obsessed and obviously I have grown out of it, I'm still, I still love all of them but like they were just a massive part of my life and basically they released a song on their last album, it was on like the extended version of the album called Walking in the Wind and I love that song so much and it just reminds me of my dad so obviously like I said to you earlier my dad died when I was 16 and they released this song on the last album and like when I listened to it it just reminded me of my dad it says there's quotes in it that says if you're lost just look for me you'll find me in the region of the summer stars and um I don't know it just listen to the song it's just a cute song and it just reminds me of my dad and it's like he's always around me and he's walking in the wind like it's just I just think it's a nice song I like the way that it looks written out so I just got it on my back and I just think it's really nice it's quite small the writing's not like you can't read it from far away which I like um and if anyone were to read it up that close then they'd obviously ask me like maybe about it but yeah I just really like it I just think it's a nice tattoo and to me it has meaning um and it looks nice last but not least on my hip bone i have a heart which says self love now this tattoo i feel like is quite a popular tattoo i think a lot of people i've seen it quite a lot on pinterest i really like this tattoo because i only really see it when i'm obviously getting dressed or if i'm in a bikini and they're the moments where i'm obviously looking in the mirror or if i'm at the beach and i've got a bikini on like i think in my head I feel insecure or whatever but I have this tattoo on my hip just to remind me self-love don't worry about kind of like what you look like or anything like that and I love the handwriting so that the walking in the wind tattoo and this self-love tattoo was done by Sophie Floyd so they're the four that I got from her and the writing that she the design basically of the self-love tattoo is so cute and I love the font of the writing that she's got in there I just love it I just think it's so nice I love the little stars obviously I have a bit of a theme with my tattoos I've got a lot of stars um and I've got the sun and the moon like I've obviously got a lot of that kind of thing like walking in the wind it's all like weathery earthy stuff um and I just love how she's incorporated like the little stars into it 
and the font is just unreal and she is honestly such an unreal tattoo artist she's a bit more on the expensive side compared to the other tattoos that i've had before but her tattoos are unreal the lines on these tattoos i can't even tell you like they are so straight they're just so good and she's so soft when she tattoos like they didn't really hurt at all i mean to be fair my hip bone one is the self-love tattoo out of all my tattoos that i've got is the one that hurt the most it was so painful because it's right on that bone and like i just remember it being really freaking painful like it was yeah it was painful but it was worth it because she's cute but um yeah that is all my tattoos but yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoyed learning about my tattoos. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe. Like I said earlier, a lot of you are not subscribed and I'd love it if you did stick around because it really helps me out. Um, obviously, as always, let me know any video ideas that you want to see and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!